In this video, I'll demonstrate how to make a histogram in Microsoft Excel just using formulas and bar charts. So I have my data set here. I have it formatted as a table. You can tell because when I'm clicked in it, up here the Table Tools Design tab appears, and you can see that I've named that table Data. And what I have here is a table with 1,470 rows with observations about the characteristics of employees at a fictional company. And what I'm interested in knowing or learning more about is the distribution of the monthly income of these employees. So to do this, I'm going to come here, I'm going to open a new spreadsheet, and there's a few pieces of information I need to collect before I can do this. I need to know the minimum value of my data set, the maximum value of my data set, how many bins I want, and the interval that each bin will span. So to find the minimum, I'm simply going to type in equals min. I'm going to type tab to open my parentheses. And then I'm going to reference the table by typing its name, data, opening up a square bracket. And now you can see I have the list of all of my columns here. So I'm going to come down to monthly income, tab, square bracket, close my parentheses, hit enter, and there's my minimum value. Now I can do the exact same thing for max using the max function. I want 10 bins for this and my interval is simply going to be my max minus my min divided by the number of bins that I want and there we go now I need to explicitly specify what my bins are what the upper limit of those bins of each bin is and then get the actual count or frequency values in each one so my bins, I'm simply going to number them 1 through 10. The upper limit of my first one will be the minimum value of my data set plus this interval. For my following cells, it's going to be the previous cell plus this interval reference here. And in order to fix that reference so that it doesn't change when I drag the formula down, I'm going to select that reference up here in the formula bar and I'm going to use function F4 to add these dollar signs which makes it a fixed reference. Now I'm going to hit enter and now when I double click my fill handle all the values fill and you can see that the upper limit of my final bin is my maximum value for the data set which is what I would expect and now I can get my frequencies by simply selecting all of these cells here. I'm going to type enter or equal frequency and now my data array is going to be again data monthly income close that square bracket comma and the next argument will be the bins array which is all these upper limits here so I'm going to select those now I'm going to close my parentheses and then I'm going to hold down control shift enter and you notice that it filled all of these values at the same time what I just used was an array function or formula so you can see that up here too in the formula bar I've got my normal function or formula here surrounded by these curly brackets which means that it's an array formula that fills in all these values together and now that I have that I can simply create my bar plot or my histogram so I'm going to come up to insert and in the charts group I'm going to select 2d bar plot make that a little bit bigger I make a couple design decisions here I don't need the bin numbers down here at the bottom so I'm going to come to axes primary horizontal and remove those I would like to have my axes titles, so I'm going to add those using add chart element. And then lastly, I'd like to make these bins a little wider, or the bars a little wider, so I'm going to right click on one, go to format data series. I'm going to change the gap width to just 3% and tab out. And there we go, a good looking histogram that we did the hard way without using any specific histogram functionality. If you like what you're seeing, feel free to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And until next time, happy learning.